good afternoon everyone we can start this particular specified and very specific talk show live talk show uh, related with strategies that has to be planned for successful mental health of each and every student of worldwide on this particular specific globe okay what specified way or the idea to make sure the health mental health has to be successful has to be there for a successful student of any particular area i welcome vithupan barua and me myself dr avdesh yadav acharya ayer we will start this particular specified thing specified show which is very essential and important for each and every student hello mr vithupan barua hello are you able to listen vithupan we are going to talk about different innovative strategies for improving students mental health innovative strategies see whenever we discuss and we talk about innovative strategies it always come across lot of ideas lot of values lot of things and the most important is the human body you know the human body how you have made make your human body accordingly your mind goes okay so important thing is what if mind is sustainable if mind is proper if mind is powerful then you can represent your overall aura in a very positive way yeah mr bitpan is there might be some issue to be there related with online thing bitpan hello can you hear me now yes 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 i can hear you yeah oh, i can but, hear uh, i i don't know what is the problem with the video because i cannot but, see myself i can just hear your voice okay welcome you bitupan uh, for this very nice show very nice talk strategies for mental health of students so what what yeah i can see you now with all right <laughs> sorry for that yeah uh -huh. okay i hope you also able to see me i can see you i can hear you right now clearly hey, that's fantastic so uh, what is your view like uh, uh, this innovative strategies improving mental health what is your view in this regard uh first of all the view about mental health okay and the mind is the boss okay mm -hmm. the mind controls everything let me let me give an example okay like yeah. let's say uh let's say my my phone is i want to call somebody and the phone goes to somebody else or let's say i want to type something on the phone and yeah. something else gets typed on the phone mm -hmm. which means that my phone is out of control right mm -hmm. so it means it's time to change the phone same goes with my laptop same mm -hmm. goes with my bike or yeah. my car uh -huh. so it has to work in perfect condition so that we can use it properly sure. right and the phone and the bike and the car and everything are being used by our hand our eyes our nose these are our senses which we use and the organs that we use to control these items like let's say just a hypothetical example you know it it, it may sound funny but let's say my hand goes out of control i want to write something and something else gets written or i want to see something my eyes see something else that may sound funny but that's not possible but imagine something happens that way then my life will become a mess so but thankfully our car bike everything are under our control the hands our legs everything are under our control but on one of the most searched thing on the internet is that how to control the mind the mind is controlling our body and the body is controlling everything else around us if the mind itself is not under control then how do we expect everything else to be under control <laughs> very true very true all right so definitely we have to work on the mental health it is very very important so if you just go to google and find out how to take care of the mental health you'll get lot of things lot of things right it is abundant you will get free ideas from people how to take care of the mental health but some of the things that i want to say is that very simple thing 
is that give your mind rest okay that is the very first thing this is first strategy uh, for from your side yes first strategy is that give your mind rest see everything else needs rest our body takes rest at night okay and uh, let's say i have a washing machine if i keep running my washing machine all the time then it will i it's time to change the washing machine it will get spoiled right if i have a car if i drive my car for 24 hours then it's time to change the car because it is not going to work the same way the mind also needs rest so we have to take give rest to the mind and i'm not talking about meditation people think that you know mind meditation and all that that is very big thing they have to learn from a guru and do meditation i'm not talking about yeah. just give rest to the mind mm. that is the first thing so yeah anything yeah. like how, how how being as a student like they should understand now how how they should get through this particular rest yes yes so all you have to do is every day put an alarm on your phone okay 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes in the evening just two times every day okay the moment the alarm rings forget everything that you are doing keep quiet for some time and don't think of anything just try not to think of your bill payment or your fight with somebody or anything just keep quiet for some time okay and you will see how peacefully you will spend the 10 minutes and once you complete the 10 minutes you will feel very very refreshed in your mind so that is one thing and it may not happen in the first day you may actually miss it so keep alarm in your phone okay 10 minutes in the morning 10 minutes in the afternoon that yeah. is the first thing and one more thing that i want to say is that connect to the nature okay spend more time in the nature because we humans are a part of the nature we are part of the nature right true true, uh, true. we Very came important. from the nature we will go back from to the nature Very so true. it is important that we should be connected to the nature so what do i mean by connecting to the nature tip is that spend some time barefoot on the ground touching the ground okay mm -hmm. like walking on the grass or maybe walking on the soil walking on the beach spend at least 10 to 15 minutes every day minimum it can be more also that's that's up to you but minimum 10 to 10 15 minutes every day you should spend time in the nature yeah. and you will not believe how much time nature how much effect nature has got that it gives to the mind mm -hmm. very very powerful so these are the two tips that i want to give okay that's fantastic thank you very much For the strategies that that we are going to discuss from my particular side thank you thank you betu uh, Bitupan, you are like Barua. Yes, 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 right. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'm, I'm pronouncing rightly. You are, you are pronouncing it correctly. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, from my side, from years I'm teaching into this particular teaching field, being as a professor, you know, like teaching mass media student and different people. And uh, after doing this uh, Srimad Bhagavad Gita, on Srimad Bhagavad Gita, uh, pay, there is a PhD when I finished. I gone through with so many ideas that being as a student of any part of the world, they can utilize and they can strengthen their mind. As you mm. said rightly, mind is very powerful. Very old saying, how you train your mind, you become like that way. Mm. Whatever you think, whatever you feel, you become like that way. True. So the most important thing, what I personally feel in a strategic way, if I want to represent in front of student of every student, whoever he either is learning engineering or doctorate or PhD or anybody, every student, every human human being should be always positive, optimistic. Mm. The first strategy. True. Think for positivity. Always. Whatever the situation, whatever the idea, whatever the event, incidents that happen always think positively yes if it is an odd situation then also there will be a chance to achieve something or represent something yourself in front of others and by your side like how you can achieve how you can handle that situation perfectly that True. is very essential and very important thing now for mind, when we are talking about, there is one particular shloka, which is very famous shloka, Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Okay. That is from chapter number 2, verse number 47. Karmanne vadhikaraste ma faleshu kadachana ma karfal hetur guma te sangho astu karmani. So Lord Shri Krishna says, this is the second strategy. Whatever activity you are doing, 
do it with very very intentionally do it positively and intentionally without thinking about the fruit what you are going to get just concentrate on your activity i i personally feel i am relating this one for mental health because always mind feel and think beforehand for the future hmm. suppose i want to be a, be like an actor so i feel like i'm sharukh khan or amitabh bachchan i want to be the end thing i don't see myself like i have to work for that i have to do act first of all boss how i am what i am i have to act and when i get interested towards that particular activity if you like ipl is going to start tomorrow if you ask anyone who you want to be as a as a cricketer they want to be like sachin tendulkar come on yeah or virat kohli but how much they work for the same the behind mm. scene that behind scene work is nothing but it is all about as per the shloka it is the dedication and work activity work culture that you develop slowly and suddenly hmm. so being as a student without thinking for the final fruit you have to concentrate towards the work hmm this example of the latest one i was just talking with jude brother and he was like you can start with the show whatever the talk show and i saw that bitupan was coming and going uh i was just saying him don't worry if nobody is there i'm alone going to present don't worry because at least something has to happen we cannot say everybody is not there this this particular talk show should not like we can hmm. and, uh, like let it be no if somebody is there like we two are there we can go ahead run the show now this yes, is yes. activity this is how the mind should be otherwise people hmm. will feel like he is not there she is not there I'll let it be like in games in activity in play and people doing the third strategy you know about the mind they are playing blame game hmm that should not happen maybe they have an issue or other other department they have an issue as a an employee also another department they have some other incident to be there me as a student don't play blame game few basic strategies that everybody should you know like follow what i personally feel from my years of experience there should be like everybody should take proper diet proper diet is very important like and when your body is healthy automatically you are making your mind healthier in your oh future. yeah the mind and the body are connected very connected, much connected. connected my i am a son of a farmer okay my mm. my nana ji is pehlwan yadav yadav so like you know like pehlwan so so from childhood we have to do you know, like workouts and all and when you do workout some gym time like when you said that barefoot you have to walk and go like being as a son of farmer we used to play with you know, like mud and soil we play like soil is motherland of course being as indian you know mm-hmm. so uh, this is very important when mind you are working for health automatically you will take proper diet and that will surely helpful for your mind hmm. very important when you work hard when you do gym you will take definitely good sleep not yes. doctors saying guys go ahead and take proper sleep how how True. people will take proper sleep when body is hmm. rested all the time throughout the day or night whenever not any hard work there is no sleep you know i would like to just uh, yeah, interject please. and say the body is rested this is uh, very interesting mm. the mind and the body were made in such a way mm. that the body was supposed to be moving all the time and the by- mind was supposed to be in resting most of the mm. time and that is how ancient people used to live uh, you know uh, like if you see the evolution mm. during ancient times and people used to be in jungle yeah yeah and they had to hunt by themselves the women used to be in the house cook and do other things and pe- the ma- man has to go out in the jungle and hunt so in a way their body was moving all the time exactly. but when it comes to the mind they did not have to worry much about anything else once their stomach is full they just have to sleep easily you know uh, so there is no news media or anything you know Actually, so in a way I, i'm going to come on that topic <laughs> so true, in a true. way their body was moving all the time 
and the mind was resting now it has become completely opposite of it so the mind is moving all the time like we think of this particular thing right now then we think of a fight that happened 10 years ago then we think of uh, this thing that thing then then again we are bombarded by the media and all the mind is moving but the body is resting it has become opposite we just have to reverse it that's all both is not connected yeah very, very <laughs> true very true very true Hmm. so earlier they were they since they were doing hard work they are getting proper sleep now hmm. after hard work sometimes also over here people are doing hard work but they don't get proper sleep i saw people hmm. on the road side they are sleeping like in a hell you say in a, like they are sleeping like anything like yeah cars and bikes are going on and they have slept like anything they are like died hmm. because they worked so much of work they did okay but you have to like being as a student everybody has to go ahead with uh, to for a proper sleep that is very very essential very important next one is uh, is very simple thing for being as a strategy that you connect stay connected with uh, connect with your friends few mm-hmm. friends those who are very close one family members if people and students are stay connected with their friends family friend that will that is very important for mental health you know what happen where, where in this way we can share things like to your close friend or girlfriend or boyfriend okay so or, or your family members you share things sometimes there there is sometimes there is need of somebody to listen to you hmm. don't talk alone this thing happened with me so what to do what not to do that create stress so better you have one to good friend and family member brother sister cousin whoever and discuss with them that is very essential i personally feel it's very important important strategy for mind or mental health mm. then whatever another strategy that very simple is whatever you feel good wherever whatever activity you feel good do it i saw my younger daughter and son they were doing painting okay so uh, in third standard and sixth standard arman and i so they were doing painting so i saw once twice thrice then i noticed when they were doing painting now they are very happy hmm colors sometimes they keep it on their clothes also okay but they are very happy that happiness i can see hmm okay like mothers scolding like all the time not learning but doing this one but technically in every human being every student there should be child always we have to make that child alive to mm-hmm. where you feel very happy as per the interest like if i i like singing irrespective how how my voice is i have to sing yeah what do you say Yes. yes yes true yeah. actually i like i cooking ha huh? yeah uh, please no i thought of t- telling about singing as well yeah because, please ha uh, uh, singing makes personally singing makes me feel good i am not a good singer yeah uh-huh. but nobody listens if i am just uh, humming in my room uh uh-huh. nobody listens right it's only me to judge so singing is very good yeah you should do it definitely yeah. like that is interest na that is interest mm-hmm. like uh, if you like singing like i like bhajan like i'm i'm not very good bhajan artist but with family with friends society we go ahead with bhajan and all i feel very enlightened and positive after that mm-hmm. with that emotion when i do that activity that's it i don't want to be a lata mangeshkar of course nobody can she is one of the greatest but at least you feel it wow like i i can sing not mm-hmm. as per the interest another strategy which is very essential just now you discussed like uh, uh, earlier time ancient time there was no social media and no different news channels to be there this strategy is very simple you have to give your mobile some rest i have heard in one of the workshop there should be one term has to come mobile deposit okay mobile deposit so like in many families they have started this one at uh, uh, evening time after 8 or 9 okay 
the head of the family the karta of the family they take mobile from each and every one and keep it in a lock and lock it mobile mm. deposit okay let's you talk what happened with you throughout the day what was going on in your school in your college you know in your office in your business and let mummy to speak up about family friend food and other things let mm. come up to be, together only you know, like mobile deposit is a very important thing and you know it's amazing to be there being as professor when i used to ask student like why you are late what they say vidupan they say graduate students and master student uh, so i gone for sleep at morning 3 o'clock 4 o'clock why was using mobile phone on social media or or movies or something means mobile is is very attractive on that way na it has so many addiction it is one kind of addiction so many things i don't and think so and people is- usually think you know if hmm. uh, they are wasting spending time on the phone then it is only the time that they are wasting but that is wrong time is not the only problem okay mm. that is a very small problem it mm. is about the effect in the mind which is the bigger problem you are literally giving your control of your mind to a device which is controlling so just ask this question to yourself are you actually using the phone or is the phone using you just try to answer this question that's nice yeah and i also have a very good strategy very specific simple and very good strategy for mm. all those people who are addicted to the phone mm. they want to get out of the addiction okay okay now there are two ca- kinds of categ- two categories of people okay one and they do not want they are happy it will be helpful for students yeah yes there are some people who are happy actually they don't even care so there there will be different strategy for them we can discuss but this is for those who want to but they are not able to do it let's say they'll uh, make in make up their mind that i will not touch my phone for the next half an hour but the moment a notification comes without even thinking with the reflex action their hand goes and picks up the phone and they start watching okay this is a very simple strategy for you do this and it will work okay keep a password for your phone okay to unlock the phone but the password should be such that you don't remember the password it should be a combination of f z z 5 2 9 4 something like that it should be a long password write the password on a paper okay it should be such a difficult password that you cannot remember the password correct okay? correct correct yeah and every time every time you have to open the phone you have to check the password and type it by yourself you cannot remember it Mm, at least some time it will see yeah. so this will yeah every time you want to open your phone you will feel lazy are bhai kon dekhega yaar who wants to see type the password so true, that true, 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 true. stop the reflex action of seeing and the moment a notification comes that will stop that and this has worked with many students and many people yeah, try good. doing this yeah that's nice that's really nice definitely it will be helpful and i'll speak up those things to my students also <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah uh, so in in strategies like one another strategy that i personally feel is mindfulness you know like mm. being present present moment we we generally hear this one in movies and um, and serials live in present you know, like beautiful sentence but the most accurate person i have read about the same as gautam buddha Hmm. living in present no past no future and you should be like mindfulness to con- concentrate each and everything whatever is happening like when i'm talking over here with you things are going on in a very positive note we are thinking for good or we are planning for some good strategies for students for helping students that only thing goes and i'm concentrating on that particular activity the mm. present moment i'm not thinking after this uh, about any activity and what happened in past uh, just now happened i'm not thinking about that only thinking how i can make this program successful mm. so if mindfulness is there and attention towards the present situation that will be great help and it is it is not a just a chance to start with it will take time 
how to live in present or present moment but that will be really important yes every every life i i know that there is need of uh, to learn like in one life we cannot learn everything mm -hmm. i i hope you you can agree with the same yes 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 in, in bhagavat puran when i was learning now the tupan so in that it is written that from 64 days lord shri krishna vasudev yadav he learned 64 kalas wow. 64 days 64 kalas because he is ultimately lord okay god so he have learned that is one particular idea but i was just waiting for what are the kalas what are those skills so in that one of the skill is making food Mm. I don't know. I'm not at all a cook. I cannot make tea. Also, no. It's really good that you know you are giving descriptions from Bhagavad Gita. I do not know the Gita like you, but okay. uh, I can say that you know Bhagavad Gita is so just a moment. Yeah. So by the time he is coming, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Oh. Yeah, that's great. That's really great. Yeah, this is a scone. If I'm not wrong, it's scones Bhagavad Gita. Yes. I yes. have I have learned this is this this Bhagavad Gita is from Gita Press Gorakhpur. I okay. have learned 18 different types of Bhagavad Gita for my PhD. Nice. 18. And this and was not have... planned. I did not know that you are going to talk about Bhagavad Gita, and I'm going to show the book to you. <laughs> We did not know this, right? Yeah, so yeah. This was just great. one meter away from me, and okay. I believe that you know there are a lot of good teachings in this Bhagavad Gita. So, Definitely. So please go ahead. Yeah, tell me what you are yeah. saying. So there are so many skills. One skill is making food, and I, I was worried after after learning that one of the skill because I don't know anything, okay. even making a tea. One one skill is uh, making garland from flowers and all. So the okay. person who is a mali, the he is a skillful person. getting so at least in this human life as a strategy being as a student try to learn new skills mm -hmm. whatever skills say if you like guitar go ahead and try to learn guitar i'm not saying about flute or anything but you can go ahead with flute also guitar is very like especially i am from mumbai so from mumbai people like a lot like i, I was a musician before i am a, uh -huh. a certified tabla player and i used wow. to play drums also yeah Some different 16 how many uh, uh, okay one of my student was make uh, tabla player so he was saying that 16 levels are there some I, I don't. Uh, I, there are different universities of tabla and all these classical instruments so maybe <laughs> i do not know how they categorized Okay. For us, it was only four years of course. Okay, okay. In Mumbai, sixteen levels. So he was at twelfth level or something. Lots of years he has to give. That's good. Okay. Which university you are from? Talking about Bhatkhande University from Lucknow. Acha, you are from Lucknow at present? No, no, no. I am not from Lucknow, but the university has presence uh, from, in my uh, place. Lucknow. I am from Northeast. Hey, okay, that's great. That's great. so these are the few strategies when we sum up all everything it is really important for each and every student i personally feel and that will be helpful for overall development overall development of mental health because once the mind is like at the start you said na not meditation but i am i am in a another way i think need of meditation mm -hmm. thanks to once again shrimad bhagavad gita and bhagavad purana because meditation is one when you do practice na slowly and suddenly especially pranayam okay mm. the om uchcharan that definitely make your body lighter mm. i can say my my experience okay you it will helpful to make your body lighter and the soul become heavier and powerful and when that happen automatically it will enhance the positive positivity throughout your body hmm. and it is very helpful for the mind any mind of any mind in this world so being as a student they should meditate i remember my grandparent uh, dada ji used to say being as a student five qualities they must have always अल्पहारी गृह त्यागी पंच लक्षण विद्यार्थी 
now these are the five final kalas or skills strategies that every student should follow which is very difficult in the recent time difficult not impossible kaag hmm. chesta he should be like his attention should be like kaag like kaag means kawa crow okay as like crow he should be attentive bahu okay. dhyana his attention his her attention should be as like bagula what bagula is swan hans as like bagula batak mano yeah okay kaag chesta bako dhyanam swan nidra he should sleep like dog okay whenever dog is sleeping and when we move towards like he slept and like uh somebody is going so partially these are the qualities of student sleep like uh, dog swan nidra he should not fill his her stomach fully like full stomach no partial and be attentive towards education and make things for your mind hmm. and last one very interesting he should be a visitor he should visit different places and when when particular person visit different places like being as a student just try to think his her mind become very positive very alert very energetic very knowledgeable and these thing work in a very positive manner so these are the five things in every student has to be definitely they will succeed in life in near future and achieve all good good yeah your the last point that you said about visiting yeah. uh, you can also say it in another way that along with visiting keep learning new things yeah uh, yeah as you said visiting you know why it happens because when we see different places different people different cultures we create different neural circuits in our brain and our thought pattern changes in that way mm-hmm. and the same goes with learning new things do not keep on giving the same kind of information to your brain all the time especially the information that somebody else wants to give like the news or the social media keep learning by yourself figure out topics new topics that you want to learn and keep reading about them and that will also trigger your intellectual curiosity you will notice that the more you want to learn you the more you will the more you keep learning the more you will want to learn okay and True. then in a way if you keep reading different articles on social me- uh, on internet you will have less time for social media or uh, watching tiktok or any other videos so that's one thing from my side yeah 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 femi said that jima is available to deal meet need of society to save life from depression failure definitely jima is providing all these guidelines such kind of talk shows from different part of the world to make sure each and every student young person child or senior everybody's mind should be in a very positive way everybody should live life like king size happily healthy wherever they are most importantly importantly students because students are the pillar of not only for their family but for society for state yes. for nation and for the world so if students are powerful they will make everything in a very positive way so th- this is from my particular side as a doctor of desh yadav and i feel if anything else you want to say bitupan that would be really great no i think uh, mm-hmm. i have included every point yeah. uh, i just want to say in a very simple way that think of the mind just like your iphone or your laptop Mm-hmm. we always try to take care of our mind right let's say uh, there is a virus in my laptop okay mm-hmm. or there is a junk folder in my laptop i will want to clean that junk folder and keep my laptop clean isn't it the same goes with phone sure sure uh, if there is a junk picture in the phone i would definitely want to clean that junk picture or if i see a virus uh, coming to my phone i will try to clean it because i like my phone i am positive about my phone i am positive mm-hmm. about my laptop but what about the mind this is also a device right true why can't we be positive about it and let not anybody else use it and put anything junk that they want to put in our mind and we use it the way we want it so think true. of it that way 
Mm, that will be very positive. Like, mm. Yeah, it's really very positive. <laughs> okay, and I hope uh, being as a student also they can connect to Jima, and if they have any particular type of queries uh, related with mind, stress, anxiety. There are free session, sessions we are planning to start with uh, as per the guideline from Jude and their team. So that will be helpful for them. They can get connected with Jima and we'll try our best like as Bitman is saying and other people, those who are connected with this, will do our best for each and everyone. Finally, I just want to conclude by saying one shloka of Srimad Bhagavad Gita that is chapter number three, shloka number 35. The overall guidance of this particular session is Shreya Swadharmo Viguna Par Dharma Swanustitat Swadharme Nidharam Shreya Par Dharmo Bhayavaha. It is always be positive and try to be on your own dharma. Dharma over here is nothing but on the basis of religion, on the basis of your activity also, on the basis of your work culture, on the basis of your system on the basis of your culture whatever wherever you are whoever you are as a student concentrate about that particular thing and represent yourself in a very positive mode to attain the success in near future by doing continuous hard work mm -hmm. then you can be the happier person right. as per lord Sri krishna vasudev Yadav. so that's it from our side I hope everybody have enjoyed. If you have any kind of doubts and question, you can ask and be connect with Jima for all best uh, near future plans, communication, talk shows, question and sessions that we are planning for. And uh, we will try our best to solve many things. All yeah. Right. Fine then. Thank you. Thank you, Barua, joining this so, session. Thank you very much, Dr. Abdesh. And thank you, everyone, for listening. And uh, we will connect again soon. Bye-bye. Take care. Namaste. Happy Ram Naomi to everyone <laughs> in the <laughs> perspective worldwide. Happy yeah. Ram Naomi. We are talking happy about Lord. Naomi. Yeah, Lord Sri Krishna. So happy Ram Naomi, everyone worldwide, wherever they are. Mm. And from Ram also.